This is one of type of question which comes frequently in any banking or maybe uh, at certain level of CAD. If you see the previous year memory based question, then yes, it was not so difficult. But what is this question about? It is basically three variable question. You know, it means three different things are given, and you have to find stuff. So the major mantra to solve this question: these are very easy, right? You should forget that. Okay, this is difficult. It involves a lot of um, cal like lot of datas, and you know anything I do wrong will you know fetch me negative. But the thing is, the art is lies only within two things. See the options. See the questions. Sorry. See the questions. Second is draw the proper table. The proper table is very important. Lot of people do what? they say you know i drew the question i drew the diagram and you know that particular diagram fitted my assumptions and it clicked in the exam but no this is not the way because if you see the the first thing is see the questions if you see the questions which i am going to show you now you can directly any layman can tell you that with this data that question cannot be solved definitely you know it means you cannot find all the answers you know uh, and you will have a certain if and here and there with the options while answering the questions what is this and what i am trying to talk about i will show you the questions one by one and just see the questions before solving it and then you decide to agree with me or not that really you could you solve this with 100% data what is given right now and then you will i'll show you the methods right so this is the first question in front of your screen for how many person can both the state and language be determined the question itself is telling you for how many person you you know can determine from the language obviously any layman can tell you they are itself asking you um, like whether you know you can find all of them or maybe See, you know, even if you see seven percent are given here, and then two, three, four, five, and then none of these, so they are hinting you that you know this cannot be solved with hundred um, percent data which is already given to you. So um, this gives you a hint that this question requires assumptions, and I need to draw my table very properly. And it's it's very easy to draw the table. All you need to do is whatever I am telling you. It's very crucial. whether you take any paper or any logical reasoning questions if you see in banking or anywhere this table if you follow will take maybe extra 30 seconds or 1 minute but you will solve all the five questions with 100% accuracy and that is because you have drawn your table very properly and it's there is nothing called as reasoning and reasoning will be implied there when you draw the table otherwise you will get jumbled up you will say this question is tough or maybe i did with my assumption but no the proper key lies what i am telling you but i'll show you all the questions right now and then we will decide how to go forward and solve this so this discussion may be longer but the key impact is i need to give you some ideas so you should know how to solve them and and 100% solve them because what is happens if you invest 3 to 4 minutes in your exam and in especially when you're writing pre exam so if you waste four or five minutes uh, you get frustrated and maybe you tend to lose your attention to solve other question as well so that you know spoils your exam right so this is the other question if ramya does not speak malayalam then who does so the key thing is first go through the question fast this is another question in addition to information derived from the above question if rajiv speaks telugu This is another one info that tells me that the extra information is being provided to me later. So it means obviously this question is not solvable with my current data. See again another question: If Rajan lives in UP, the question is giving you another data. In another question, this is another question. Okay, see the another question: Which of the following is definitely false? Okay. So this was all the thing. The first key thing is see the questions. Second thing, identify how many variables are here. 
so here person is given language is given and then place is given three variable this is a type of question generally two variable is now not given those are easy now let's start to make the diagram so how does you make the diagram first of all all know that this is a kind of you know three level so we will have seven person like this but which one do we need to put you know on our vertical lines this is very important thing you need to decide reading the data is currently given to you so what is that see here if you see um, a lot of um, names are given right seven names are there places is there language is there if you read the options which is giving da uh, datas it tells me rajan speak tamil while rajiv live in kerala ragiv speaks hindi while ragu lives in assam person who live in punjab speaks oriya ramesh singh uh, speaks punjabi speaks orissa malayalam lot of language thing data is given so what i need to do that is we will put the name here and we will put the language here because lot of data is of name and language and the place we will adjust accordingly because this is two dimensional figure right you cannot put plug in all those thing so start writing all those names see this you have to do it very quickly you can have your own notations to minimize writing but yeah diagram is important whatever you do you can write r a r a n whatever to identify those names but you should do it quickly it should not take much time it should be very quick so you save those time in drawing because it, it this if you draw wrong will give you zero in all because you will get all the answers wrong so you should do it carefully but yeah do it quickly so this i have drawn the diagram my this languages are here names are this part right now what i'll do is quickly write the all the places which is given but why do we need to write the name is um, of the places because sometimes you need to you know you will see that why i am writing those things so these are all my names of the places you should not confuse them with the language because i know it's kind of similar and do not at least assume anything which is not given so let's start so it's given in the first line rajan speaks tamil while rajiv lives in kerala so rajan speaks tamil you have to do it very quickly but to um, explain you i am doing it very slowly easily so you can understand this video so rajan speaks tamil where is tamil here whenever i mark tick you know these cannot he cannot do any other language i will do quickly cross 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 which will help me to identify this is very important and while it's given rajiv lives in kerala so i'll write it down rajiv is here so it's given kerala so i have already got kerala i'll cut it from my diagram this is help now let's go to the second one ragiv speaks hindi ragiv is here speaks hindi so what i'll do quickly cut all those other things right because this will not be there and this is one of the art lot of people who don't know will face that problem and now they will know how to solve it quickly this is three dimensional three variable question so ragiv speaks hindi while ragu lives in assam again raghu i have got assam i have got one more data assam goes out of my list uh, i think i have not written it here it's there so assam goes out of my picture now it's given the person who lives in punjab speaks oriya so i have to write this and this is oriya punjab speaks oriya and ramesh speaks punjabi so this was my language so ramesh speaks punjabi Ramesh is here. So again, I'll remove all those things from all those things from here also. Okay, this is given. And Ramesh speaks Punjabi. The person who lives in um, Orissa speaks Malayalam. So the Orissa speaks Malayalam. One more data here. I'll do it with green so you can understand. So. all um, these info is only given there right that's maximum you can find out this is what i have completed my diagram and now i cannot do anything because there are still lot of spaces left i cannot you know cut any more agar see kya hota if um yahan pe agar do teen aur cross lage hote to i can tick it here right 
बट दैट इज नॉट हियर द केस आई कैनॉट डू एनी अदर मतलब एक भी ब्लैंक स्पेस नहीं बचा है क्योंकि अगर सारे फील्ड है एक लेफ्ट है तो यू कैनॉट यू कैन डू द टेक देयर एंड देन अगेन टू क्रॉस अप एंड डाउन दिस इज ऑल द डेटा गिवन टू मी दैट्स ऑल नाउ नाउ लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन वन बाय वन एंड वील स्टार्ट डूइंग द आंसरिंग सो आई प्लेस द क्वेश्चन हियर दिस इज आर क्वेश्चन so just because there is no not enough space you can you can do it small but you know i have don't have that kind of thick thin pen to do do so how many person can both the state and language be determined now think see they are asking how many persons um, you know you can determine the place and thing think about rajiv see rajiv i know for this i know that he knows kerala he is from kerala but do you know the language we speak he speak no Again, you go to Rajan. No, Ragiv. Again, no. Ragu, I know Assam, but then again, I have one, two, three, four more spaces left. So, not possible. Ramesh, I know the language, but I don't know which place he's from. Ramya, I know that um she's. I don't know anything like Ramya and Ratan. There is nothing there. So the answer will be E. You have to mark E none. Again, I have placed the question here. Now, the moment I see Ramya does not speak Malayalam, who does? it means yeah you should have did did this part like just see i'll use another pen see it was given the person who speaks oriya is from punjab theek hai to this person if you say tick then it has he is from kerala to oriya has to be from punjab to this anyway goes cro- cross it's a direct question you can do cross forever for the data again for oriya this part is left blank which means is from assam it means no it has to be from punjab done wrong this it's it's doubtful you can leave the blank spaces again now let's go to malayalam malayalam should be from orissa so this guy is from kerala no again this uh, is from assam it has to be from orissa orissa goes cross again now we are left with only two data right that's why so whenever even if you forget it but still you can get to the right track when you see the data the question hinted you from there that's why in the first case i didn't write the complete case so it's written if ramya does not speak malayalam so first what does it mean it means ki ki ye dono mein se whatever is there it has to be these two guys only because sab kuch cross hai in log ka to yahan pe question mein diya hai if ramya does not speak malayalam it's written cross then who speaks the, if he this becomes cross it obviously has to be this and this taken cross because ye jo do section hai it has to be from anyone from this kyunki it's it cannot be possible right they do not speak any of them so ek mein bhi tick lag gaya the moment you crack the entire question for that moment it doesn't take any time so if ramya does not speak malayalam who does it's who it's ratan so ratan is the answer now on another thing is um this question is only for this data it means ki ye jo cross lagaya tha that was given that info was already there but ye jo tick lagaya hai you have whatever tick you have done here this is from this question only it stays till that question goes away it means this is not definite do not by mistake mark it and then you scroll, um, you know you finish the entire data but one thing you can do here सी अगेन इफ यू नो दैट ओनली ये दो में से ही टिक लगने वाला है ये तो क्रॉस हो जाएगा बिकॉज दिस कैन बी क्रॉस सो अगेन आर डेटा एक्सपैंडेड एंड नॉट ओनली दिस यू कैन क्रॉस दिस बोथ बिकॉज बिकॉज टिक हैज टू बी फ्रॉम दिस बोथ ओनली वी आर डाउटफुल ओनली हियर बट या नाउ द क्वेश्चन मूव दिस पार्ट अगेन बिकम्स ब्लैंक सो वॉट एवर वॉज देयर यू डू द ब्लैंक थिंग यू यू लीव इट अनसॉल्व बट for that help of the question you could you know eliminate more which you can do it in the first case also but then question sometimes hints you and saves you on the right track because of the diagram now this is another question if rajan lives in up where does uh, ramesh live so i have removed this because that question has to say this because this is another key from you tiki take away from the lr passage ki agar मेन स्ट्रीम क्वेश्चन में डेटा इज नॉट देयर देन डू नॉट एज्यूम अंटिल इट स्पेसिफाइड दैट कि दिस डेटा विल बी देयर फॉर यू दैट क्वेश्चन यू डिड एंड फॉरगॉट दिस दिस एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू वाज लेजिटमेट बिकॉज यही दो में से होने वाले हैं सो दैट्स व्हाई यू कैन कीप दिस डेटा मोर सो इफ राजन लिव्स इन यूपी लेट्स थिंक सो वेयर डज रमेश लिव 
सो एज वी नो दैट यूपी हैव डन टेक सो वट हैपन्स द 